Jeff Wilson here with Tanner of Bozer, 17 and 6, uh, UFC fighter. Hey, man, we always, we always start talking about walkout music, and you were a very unique fighter in the way that you rarely use the same song. And we're not sure which one you're using for your upcoming fight. June 27th at the UFC Apex in Vegas versus Felipe Linz. But talk to me about uh, the last song you chose and why you chose it. The last fight I walked out to From Here On Out by The Killers. Every walkout song, to me, the lyrics, uh, they pertain to the individual fight. To me, I mean, listen to the song. Listen to From Here Out, On Out by The Killers, and maybe you get it, maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, uh, the, the songs I pick are lyrically based for myself for that individual situation. I don't know what I'm walking out to yet. It'll strike me. So I've, I've picked a song on the way to the fight before, you know what I mean? Just came on in my truck. For some reason, the lyrics make me feel a certain way or somehow in my brain they relate to the fight. And I don't know, it might not make sense, but that's just, to me it does, you know, for whatever I'm walking out to. If you listen to the song, maybe I'll figure it out. Yeah, that's, that's how I choose a walkout song. And every time I've doubled up on a song, not every time, a lot of the times I've doubled up on the songs I've lost, so I don't do it. Talk to me a little bit about your preparation for this fight. Well, I mean, we are in a pandemic for a while, so everybody was training the best they could with things at home all the gyms were closed uh gyms are open now and uh there's some some rules you have to abide by but i'm getting in training as best i can it's what it is it is what it is i hear you i'm excited to see you again um what are some of the things that have changed and what are some of the things that uh you that ufc is making you do or that have changed in, in training so far well, UFC hasn't changed too much. I mean, I'll have to get a, a swab test when I get there, and I think the day of the weigh-ins as well. Uh, that's no big deal. You know, fighting in front of no crowd. It's just live on TV, but there's no live audience. That's fine by me, too. I really don't care. And uh, in terms of training, uh, now, I mean, there's a rule. You know, it has to be you can train with cohorts because we're just using – fucking buzzwords and no one knows what's happening right now um so they're just making bullshit up but you gotta just uh social distance or something uh or not <laughs> as long as you're with people you may or may not know it's really fucking stupid but uh you know during the quarantine gyms are closed and we're all good boys so you know you just train at home or outside and uh do the best you can with what you got now you know i Gyms are open and I can train with a couple people. And I, I love your honesty and your candor. This is a difficult situation for everybody, but we're the sport that's doing it and everyone else is still trying to figure it out, man. So I, I appreciate uh, that real stuff there and, and you saying, you know, fight no matter what. That's amazing, man. I really appreciate it. How do you solve a problem like Felipe Lins? Felipe is really good. He's a good striker. He considers himself a striker, but he does have a black belt in jiu-jitsu and he's got some pretty good submission wins. Uh, he's an all-around guy, and he knows how to win. He won the PFL tournament in 2018. That's not an easy thing to do. He won a million bucks. Uh, Felipe Lins is a very hard opponent. You know, he's ranked something like 30 in the world. You know, this this fight's not going to be a walk in the park. But, um, you know, I've, I've fought tough guys my entire career, and Felipe is good. But at the same time, I mean, it's not like he's anything I haven't seen before. Either one of us can win, and either one of us can lose. and I think I got what it takes to beat him, you know. He's got four losses. He's not invincible. Absolutely right. And it's always amazing to watch heavyweights like yourself with incredible kicking and movement and the way that you do it. Uh, I think you surprise a lot of heavyweights with it. And I'm super excited uh, for that. Um, best of luck at that fight, June 27th at the UFC Apex, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And we'll talk again soon.